The immortal John Hancock here, and I'm here with Mr. Rightway, fellow friend, collect, collector from Texas, and and I want to say uh, thank you for being on. Uh, this might be an ongoing series, and today we're going to talk a little bit about the craziness of collector prices right now going on with retro gaming and gaming in general. Holy cow. Man. So, so thanks for being on. Oh, man, thank you for inviting me. And let's just say, first of all, we are not going to raise prices because they've been raising by themselves already. <laughs> it's nuts. It's nuts. So where do you want to start on prices? I mean, we could talk with us about the oh. Switch right now. Is the Switch still – the Switch price is still nuts? Oh, my okay. goodness. I am so happy that I got my Switch when it first came out. It just seemed like it's been, like, this uh, steady incline with the Switch – you know, like after the uh, the Wii U that's behind me, which I still love, it's been it's, it's going up, it's going up, and now it's hit this peak. And I thought it was going to take a dive, but it didn't. I mean, it seemed like this perfect storm, like with the virus, and then uh, people stuck at home, and then the popularity of Animal Crossing. Eleven how- million, eleven million in eleven day, and and, some eleven million in like the first few days or something. It's crazy, crazy, crazy craziness. sales of it. It Man, blew, and it, yeah, go ahead. I don't go ahead. Don't they say you blew it? Blue plays what now? Uh, any Zelda or Mario release, so you know, it's like the perfect time to play it. You know, it's it's the perfect game to escape all the all the 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 craziness going on. And uh, you know, my I bought it for my son, my son's a huge Animal Crossing fan. I'm I like mm-hmm. it, but he he loves it, and so he oh, plays really? that like on a daily basis. And so I just yeah. uh, you know. For me, I I, uh, I can't believe it. But, yeah, what the, the problem is, is everybody, most places that were selling the Switch mm-hmm. are, weren't restocked. And so no, once, it wasn't. Once that supply, uh, you know, went went through, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's impossible to find them now. Man, like I said, it's the perfect storm. Like, I got Animal Crossing uh the week before my uh fiance's birthday it was a her it's her birthday gift and as soon as i got it for you know on her birthday she did non-stop playing it and then i got to play it and i got addicted to it so we have her switch in there and my switch in here in the game room and we're like okay you finish are you finished i really don't want to buy it digitally because you know i'm i like physical games and i'm like okay the store just opened up so now i got me some trades and stuff so i'm gonna go I'm, Probably tomorrow I'm gonna give me a second copy because we want to have like our date night on like uh on Animal Crossing. People are doing that now, so we're going like I'm being here, she being there. We gonna have like a little date night. I'll go visit her, Alan. She come visits my Alan. So I think it's gonna be really cool, man. Animal Crossing is just nuts. I have and like I said, it's a great, great game right now because the music. I mean, you the music the it's it's one of those games like. You can do nothing really wrong. It's no objective, so you just and comp- and then uh, pile that on with like the popularity of like the Minecrafts and the Mario Makers and all that kind of stuff. And then you can be yourself. It's so it's a it's a perfect combination. Nintendo must be just like Scrooge McDuck swimming in money right now. Happy oh, having. It. I mean, yeah, I mean, and they have tons of other releases, and so they they you know it's it's been a pretty full month since then. And Mm -hmm. so I've been enjoying playing Streets of Rage 4. Uh, I showed a little bit of gameplay footage of that. Jay and Silent Bob just released like a Nintendo style uh, fighting game. Wow. I know Riggs did that on his channel. And Mm -hmm. and there's just, I mean, really, the Switch is like a really, really popular console for many people. But but that's not the only thing that's going bananas right now with prices. Like, so what are you seeing? What are you seeing in Texas right now? Man, I am seeing increasingly number of football games and i'm not a football person uh so to speak i really wasn't a sports guy i was more of a the arcade type of sports games and like on a neo geo like the baseball stars or like the the uh, wrestling games and stuff like that that's my or ufc that's my type of game i want to get in and i just don't want to do too much thinking i just want to get in there and not and play even my favorite nes game um ice hockey i think it's ice hockey where no blade i'm sorry blades oh, of steel the Bla- I, saw, I, love, I like ice hockey but blades of steel is good too but i, I, I love, love, love baseball. 
because at the beginning go blaze of steel and then you know you get the little doo -doo -doo, the little music and stuff and then you get to fight <laughs> when i remember i rented that from uh blockbuster a long time ago when i was a kid and i found out you could fight on the game i was like what on a hockey game it was just that was my first introduction to ice hockey i never knew nothing about hockey as a kid i just knew about the typical american sports but uh what i was saying man i got a couple games right here that i've been looking at like the 2K games, like right here, College Hoops 2K7. This game was like a $2 game about three months ago. Now it's topping anywhere around 50 bucks. Wow. And this right here, a good one. Oh, Backbreaker, nice. Yes, Backbreaker. This is a fun, 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 uh, like just pick up and play football game. And a lot of people don't know about Backbreaker, but this game right now is starting to get on an increase. I, it was like another $2 game. Now it's between almost like $19 to $20. And I love this game. It's, I, like I said, I'm not a big football person. I like Blitz and all that kind of stuff. So it kind of reminds me of that. Backbreaker, then, well, I think part of the issue too is sports is like shut down. And yes, so it, people need to get their sports fix, you know? And I, even I am like, you know, I, I love football. I, you know, I'm an Eagles fan. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> no, and but it's you know I love sports. I love going to like farm league baseball games. We have the Cowlitz Bears in Longview. Okay. Um, and and we and I like going to the uh, Portland Winterhawks, which is another you know minor league hockey team. And mm -hmm. you know you can't do any of that right now. And so no, part of part of people getting their sports fix is to go to video games. So that's part of I think that's part of it. Mm -hmm. Is and I think part of it is anything that you can do at home. Uh, is definitely on the increase, you know, whether it's streaming, media, you know, Netflix, Disney Plus, and definitely video games. The challenge is, too, especially with physical video games, is the typical places that offer those items are not are closed. Yeah. And so, you know, people are scrambling on top of, you know, your, your typical mom and pa game stores uh, are all closed here in Washington still. They had another stay-at-home month has just been established and so may is shut down here in washington speaking on that i was going to tell you like besides ebay uh, there's a lot of things that people can do like meet up now like um i don't know if you, how much you use offer up or let's go those apps but a newer app that's really starting to take steam and it's been out for a while is the macari app have you heard about the macari app yep yeah well, the macari yeah. app man <laughs> this is one thing i want to tell gamers you know how to somewhat build your collection is go to different places like pawn shops and if you see somebody got a cheap uh, nintendo 64 a lot or something buy that lot and then go on like apps like macari and offer up and resell those games and if you want something for your collection use that money to build to fund your collection you know pay low now i know it's not everywhere it's not like that everywhere because some people have told me like my my pawn shop charged ebay prices that's okay, but another thing you got to do is just find those places and make sure you learn how to negotiate because people want to take your money, and <laughs> they really do, especially now. They really want to take your money, and games are just being dropped off, dropped off. And if you're in a state that has game, that have a game store that's open, check them out and see what's going on because, like, like, speaking of the sports games, I just picked up this game, College Hoops 2K. Now, this game is astronomically, oh my gosh, it's crazy. This game is now over $150. And this was like a $27 game like a month ago. And the reason why uh, factors is that because you say people don't have their sports no more. But another thing too, this is the last sports game that was on, or college sports game basketball-wise that was on the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. Just like uh, I know there's a trend on that, like the Madden games, like Madden 17 on 360 and Madden 17 on PlayStation 3. Those games, that's a Madden 17. You know how every year Madden is different, but those games are still holding their like $30 price range. It's just weird. Is that at this the last time 360 because, and PS3 Madden? Yes, those are the three. That's, that's the last part generation. Of it too. Some people that didn't want to upgrade. Uh, I've seen that trend for a long time where the last – you know, major franchise, people kind of hang on to that because that, they don't want to upgrade or that's that's the last one. Or, you know, there's other reasons too. But, gosh, I, you know, one thing I want to say is is that mm -hmm. if, if you can support your local game stores, 
please do so. Yes, please and do. Because yeah. they're hurting right now. They you are. know, these game stores are selling online and probably only getting, getting a fraction of their business. Mm-hmm. And their supplies are running out. So, you know, it's only a matter of time before we'll possibly have less game stores. I don't see – you know, that can be a separate conversation. We'll have that discussion yeah. on your channel about – Kind of, what, what, is of the out, what is the outlook of games, uh, you know, and and retro gaming moving forward? Because I right now it's it's in a tough spot. So you know, I would say just you know check your local game stores if they have online stores or Etsy or uh, you know Amazon or eBay or uh, Mercury, however you say it, and uh, offer up definitely. You know, that's that's where uh, you people need to check for games, but yeah, it's nuts right now. Um, so right way, where can people find you and your channel? I want to appreciate you being on here, having this discussion. Oh and man, thank we're gonna, you. We're going to do a, we're going to do a part two and it's going to be on your channel. Where can people find your channel? Well, just go on YouTube and type in Mr. Right way, or just go to my website, rightwayphotography.com. I have all my links to everything from Instagram, Twitter, uh, per, not personal Facebook, but like a group Facebook, uh, just stuff like that. I love talking about games. I love taking pictures of games and stuff. So, especially on Instagram. So I'm starting to do that more. I'm starting to take more of my collection and taking pictures of that and stuff like that. Well, thank you so much for being on. And this is uh, possibly going to be an ongoing series. What did you think? Comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And want to thank everybody for tuning in to this special special guest and good friend. Thank you so much. This is the immortal John Hancock. Please hit that like button and subscribe button. You take care.